Hello everyone and welcome back to Call of Duty Ghost and in this video I'll be showing you the best sniper so far in Call of Duty Ghost. So let's do this. Now guys I have used every sniper. I have tried out all four of them and the best one to me that has like just it does good is the USR. This thing is beastly. You will get a one shot kill from to they say the waist up. But I've gotten them from the waist down. I mean, I've gotten kills just one side. I don't know if they're damaged, but every time I shoot someone, I'm gonna get a kill with this gun. That's that's just how it that's just how it is. I mean, I have used the I've used all of these. I have picked them up from enemies. I've tried them out. I just did not like it. The L115. I thought I was gonna like it, but I just I just did not like it at all. I don't know the reason why, but I just I don't think it really was that good in my opinion. And the VKS. One of my friends had this. He let me pick it up from him. Me, Dad. Well, he didn't let me. I picked it up. But it just was no damage. And the same for the Lynx. Um, all great snipers in their own way. But if you want a good sniper, trust me, the USR. This thing is just beastly. And it's cheap. It's one of the cheapest snipers out of all of them. But for the attachments, guys, I would always get the chrome lined. It says it reduces his accuracy, but to me, I don't notice it at all. And it increases the damage even more. So with this, it just it just makes it even better to use this sniper. Then I use armor piercing if someone's behind a wall or something like that. Or if you really want to, if you like to like be silent, you can use a silencer. I don't know how it would work with the silencer because it will lower the damage. But I would use armor piercing and the chrome lined which looks amazing with the gun. But trust me guys, the USR is a great, great sniper. It's the best one so far. This is as um, the first week of Call of Duty Ghost being released. So this ain't after no updates later on if they do update it. Um, but the perks, I'm using... Actually, I should switch this around to support. I have never used support yet. So I might just do that, guys. I might actually um, use support with this because it is a sniper. And you don't really rust with snipers. Well, you can with this. You can actually really rust. I have gotten some very cool um, kill streaks in hardcore mode with this. But that's what I would recommend, guys. The USR chrome lined with the armor piercing. Um, secondary, whatever you choose. I hope I would prefer the 44 mags. They're just beastly guns. Um, lethal IED motion sensor just to defend your back if you are sniping um, out of a window or something like that. That's what I would recommend using. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like down below, subscribe for more, and stay tuned for the next set of weapons. I'm, I still have the light machine gun, submachine gun, and what is the final one? Shotguns also. Stay tuned for those. And marksman rifle, totally, I totally forgot about that. But I'll be going over a gun that's the best in each class. So when you hit the battlefield or you hit the playing field, I don't want to say that, you will be the best player on there, guys. But... As always, this has been 2x2 Gaming, and take care, guys.